see who this lady is. Shannon Half Sky. You're not a cop. She looks up, watching you warily. I've seen you praying. Do you know the deceased? Yes. He's my older brother. I've asked Bear to help me speak to him. She shakes her head, looking like one who has found herself lost for the first time in her life. But I'm afraid his spirit is too disoriented by his recent journey to answer me. You're a shaman. Yes, for all the good it's doing me. If I could just make contact, I might be able to deliver justice and allow my brother's spirit to rest. Was there, were there any other witnesses? Not so far as I can tell. Not among the living, anyway. Realization then dawns, bringing the light back into her eyes. But my brother's spirit may not be alone here this night. She closes her eyes and concentrates, droning a low chant you can barely hear. Yes, there are others. Other spirits who may be of help. Uh-oh. Her features harden in frustration, <coughs> as if she's searching for something that remains elusive. Sighing, she opens her eyes and fixes you with a stare. But I can't do it alone. What do you need? Now I'm gonna have to go around, like, collecting organs from people for some sort of horrible sacrifice, probably. The warehouse contains the spirits of plane, vi cr plane crash victims trapped between worlds. They wish to help. They wish to be heard. I think they, they, they have, and I think they have something to say about my brother's murder. You need to find Ellen Page, and... Lone Star won't let me in there, but you seem to have the run of the, run of the place. If you can find personal items that belong to the victims, I believe I can summon a spirit to speak with us. I'll need at least two such objects. Can you find them for me? I'll do what I can. All right. So now we got to find, uh, try to find a way to talk to the talk to the some of the de the uh, resident ghosts here, Nick. Right. The door is locked, but you might be able to bypass it if you could get under the maintenance panel. around. Let's see what's down here. Ooh. Well, this place seen but plane has seen better days. Pile of crap. <coughs> Did they really disassemble a plane like this? I don't know. There is a large pile of old shoes on the ground next to the airplane seats. They could be discarded luggage, or possibly the shoes worn by the occupants of the plane at the time of the crash. Dig through the shoe pile. Sorting through the shoes, you realize that there are three shoes with no matching pair. A left blue sneaker, a right red high heel pump, and a left black dress shoe. Inspect the dress shoe. The dress shoe is a black lace-up with a rubber sole. Inspect the high-heel pump. Pump is a department store knockoff of an Italian brand. It is otherwise unremarkable. Inspect the sneaker. The sneaker is a child's and has musty, sweaty, a musty, sweaty smell. Oddly, you get a sort of shock, as if from static electricity, when you touch it. This must be one of the items the shaman was looking for. You take the shoe. All right. Progress. How do you think they got that plane in there? Well, they brought it in pieces. They probably got, like, really big warehouse doors that they can open. Probably. I mean, they brought it in in pieces, so... Obviously. Let's see what this is. It's hard to say whether this is a heap of items and refuse recovered from a plane crash, or simply trash that hasn't been taken out yet. Dig through the trash. A, sicky, a sticky substance of some sort seems to have seeped through the trash pile, and your hands are quickly covered with the stuff. Oh. After searching for a minute, you uncover, unearth a handful of interesting items. Ins inspect the earring. The earring is made out of burnished steel, formed into the shape of a small salmon. An intense, primal fear washes over you as you touch its surface. This must be one of the items the shaman was looking for. Inspect the lunchbox. Dented lunchbox. A dented tin lunchbox that's seen better days. You can barely make out the face of a grinning troll on the front. Inspect the cred stick. Hey, 200! Surprisingly, the cred stick is still functional. You slot it into your PDA, and 200 new yen is added to your account. Yeah, they're not going to miss it. This is 
So are crit sticks disposable? Like, uh, no, no. What's that? You like throw them away after you're em they're empty? Uh, no, not normally. They're um, they're empty. They don't actually. They're they're not empty of like physical substance. Like they just they transmit like financial data to each other. Okay, now okay to see this um thing, you can summon a spirit here, which I believe will do something rather. But let's see what this is. There's an open vent on this wall. It's too small for you to fit through. But you might be able to send a drone through to open the door from the other side. All right. Your drone fits through the hole, buzzes to the left, and activates the locked door from the inside. Thank you, my metal companion. Let's see. Ooh, more stuff. You find a magnetic screwdriver. Mission item added. Okay. I believe summoning... You can do something with, like, with that spirit summoning point, that will somehow give you access as well, as I recall, because that's what I did the first time. All right, nothing else in here. I haven't been on an airplane since I was like eight years old. Why not? Just, uh, just okay. I just, I don't, go, I just don't travel around that much. I, I did, I did take a cross-country train ride once, which went, you don't need to go right, oh, this is the bathroom, okay. <laughs> the old poster depicts a svelte young woman posing with an assault rifle. I did take a, I had a disastrous train ride from Chicago to Pennsylvania once. I, well, too long a story to go into now, but a man died. I'll just leave that cliffhanger. Sorry, somebody died on your train? He was killed by the train. Oh, God. This this appears to be the victim's locker. The door is slightly ajar. Inside, you see several of the dead man's personal items. Inspect the toothbrush. The toothbrush is still wet from being used. It smells of mint and cigarettes. Inspect the comb. As you, as you search, reach for the comb, the hair on the back of your hand stands on end. And when you take it off its little shelf, your heart thumps in your chest. Hard. This must be one of the items the shaman was looking for. You pocket the comb. Oh, it's a period. Oh, remember, she only needed two. We've got three. I, I don't know if that does any. If that helps at all to have more or. Oh, com computer desk, it looks like. The, research wor the researcher's work cyber terminal has been left on, presumably by the lone star investigators. Read the notes for case file 95. Case file 95. Federated Boeing Jetliner ID, blah, blah, blah. Corporate owner, Ares. Plane had several mechanical issues, resulting in a mayday at 3.04 a.m. on June 17, 2053. Ported altimeter was reading the negative values. Okay, you don't really need... Pilot cannot be contacted. Da, da, da. Plane crashes into an empty field in western North Dakota. You don't really need to know all the details for this. Pratt's and Whitney unmanned, corporate owner Aries, summary, redacted, time log, redacted. Case 98, this file has been corrupted. Read the researcher's private notes. The notes that appear on screen pertain to NTSB crash file 96, the crash of an Aries jetliner near the UCAS and Sioux Nation border. The crash is reportedly the result of an equipment failure. Reading further into the investigator's notes, however, you find substantial evidence linking the crash to an experimental Renreku research initiative. This information could be worth a great deal to the right buyer. You download the researcher's notes to your PDA. All right. Score. Let's see what Officer Geyer is up to in our absence. What? If this was a corp hit, why'd they leave the evidence on the computer? Good catch. The information is probably worth a fortune if you found a buyer. Yes. Yes. Let's see. Oh, I think... Oh, remember the magnetic screwdriver? Yeah. The lock panel easily comes unscrewed. Aren't most screwdrivers magnetic now? Are they? Yeah, so you can catch the screws. At least the tips of them are. That's cool. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't have any like that. I, I need to look... I don't know. Let's see. 
Looks like an old diary. Mission item added. Old diary. This appears to be the diary of a teenage girl. Why is it- why is the diary of a teenage girl in what appears to be like the employee break room of this big... ...airplane wreckage warehouse? Maybe Curious. she's a hobo. We left it here. Let's go with that theory for now. <laughs> oh, okay, see that Ares? Yes. Ares is one of the world's major mega corporations based out of, uh, Detroit. Oh, that's nice. Sure um, has something again in the future. Yeah, they uh, they um, have interest in a lot of things, but including a lot of like uh, aerospace, uh, weapons, all sorts, heavy industry, manufacturing, a lot of stuff. A number of the weapons you can buy in this game are uh, like they mentioned that they're like Ares, such and such. They're one of the yeah, they're one of the seven big one of the world's seven biggest mega corporations that sit on the uh, this organization called the Corporate Court. Alright, let's talk to Ms. Hefsky. Feels as though you've found enough objects. Yes, here they are. You hand her the objects you found. She closes her eyes and chants over them for a time. When her eyes open again, they're filled with tears. Thank you. These items are all I will need. It shouldn't take me long to... What the hell is all this? We're just channeling the power of the dark arts, McCluskey. Jeez. <laughs> Officer Aguirre trails after the detective, only meeting your eyes for a moment. She's the victim's sister, sir. She... McCluskey. This is a crime scene, officer. Not some Salish drum circle. Isn't it standard, pr standard procedure to contact the next of kin? Ma'am, consider yourself contacted. Now get the hell out. Come on, if we stay much longer, I'd be liable... I'd be liable to do something I'd regret. Or worse, something I'd enjoy. Karma gained five. That man is an ass. She stares daggers at McCluskey from across the warehouse. But there's no helping it now. I should just be grateful you were able to collect those items before those clods carted everything off. Can we still summon the spirit? Not from here, I'm afraid. Spirits, spirits such as these have domains to which they are anchored. We need to get back in there. Oh, okay, I see. So the, the police escorted us across the county line. So we're out of that spirit's jurisdiction now. We'll come back later, once the coast is clear. I can't stand the waiting, but I don't see any other choice. You're sure you're up for this? Maybe a re if it means your brother's killer doesn't take another life, then yes. Thank you. Now, since we have the time, we should probably enlist some help. They may post security overnight. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say you, need, you know where to find the kind of people we need. You could say that, the best money can buy, or just smile. I'm Flandry, bitch. Why would I call her that? Receive 4,000 million. Good. I'll put up the money, if you find the bodies. She produces a fistful of crumpled million from inside a leather pouch, starts to count it out, then shoves the whole wad at you. Meet me back here at midnight. The spirits will be strong then. Alright. We're rich. As you start to leave the warehouse, your comlink chirps in the face of Coyote pops on the screen. Coyote looks tense. Hey! Oi, Flandry! You in the middle of something? Ahoy hoy! Ahoy hoy. Just getting jerked around by Lone Star. Same old thing. I hear you. Her jaw sets. I don't know if I ever told you this, but I was born in the Royale. BTL pushers like Stevie J ran the squats. Rad my world when I was growing up. I remember. She looks relieved. I have a couple, I have a cousin, Gino, who's been missing for months. He hit the sprawl about a year ago and immediately fell in with some tweakers. Bad guys. They hooked him on, on high amp dream chips and started using him for all sorts of dreck. I tried to help him, but he pushed me away. Then he disappeared. I've been shooting up BTL labs ever since trying to find him. I'm guessing you have a new lead. It's not a lead! Jeez, sorry. Her face lights up. She's running hot, has a serious edge. I know exactly where he is this time. Got an old friend who eyeballed him herself. I'm on my way. Paco's with me, but 
We could use another hand. You in? I need you right now. Yeah, you can always use a good side quest. On my way. I know you'd come. I'll send you the address. See you soon. So this is a side quest. You don't have to do it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, one of the options was just, you know, I'm, I'm too busy with this Ripper thing right now.